umpire Rowan Soares checking with the readiness of players. Players taking up their positions now. Hawker has the job of minding Judge. DP Domenico and Heard. And from the Melbourne Cricket Grounds, we begin the 1984 VFL Grand Final between Hawthorne and Essendon. The capacity crowd in attendance. Players come reeling out of the pack. There'll be no big pardons here initially. A free kick to Hawthorne to start proceedings. And it's going to Dermot Brerick. Brerick now towards left half four. Off the hands of the pack. Hand pass from Lester Smith to Matthews, who steady shoots at goal. First club to Hawthorne, and that took only about 30 seconds. He was dropped straight after it too. And players come in to remonstrate. Will he get another kick? I don't think so. I think that'll worry Lee Matthews, though, Bob. Quite sure it wouldn't worry him, Peter, because he's a strong player. In contrast, I think Lee Matthews is one of those players you do not touch. We watch again on replay. And uh, Duckworth getting the first one in, but Matthews has the goal on the ball. Pretty timid one, Pete, just the same. From Billy it was. Bounce again in the centre. Hawthorne lead by six. Could have been a free kick to Merritt. Now it's going the other way. Against Merritt for shepherding in the ruck. Payton. High ball to half forward again. Tuck was the flyer. No mark. Here's Robertson. Streaming in the goal. Two goals to Hawthorne. He couldn't miss them there, could he? And a great start by Hawthorne. Two goals coming up in a minute and a half. That's where you could not ask for a better start than that from any side. Uh, two goals in that uh, within a minute and a half. Tuck up in the air. Robertson kicks the ball off the ground. And uh, no mistake from Colin Robertson. A real dangerous player down there in that forward line. Well, let's hope this is not a repeat of last year's grand final when the Bombers went down by 83 points. But I know they've got a lot of fighting quality about themselves and they'll be back in business. Knocked out by Matt and picked up here by Baker. And the ball driven down there, and I'm oh, Mark dropped that time by Vanderhaar. Finally, Ayres gets a kick out towards the wing position, and there's a good mark, a good mark taken there by Hawker. He's got the job of mining Judge today. Usually plays in an attack, but playing down there at half back. The ball back across the centre half forward. 15 metres. It'll be 15 metres, but there's a mark there to Donal, but the umpire's ignoring that. Both on up to a great start, kicking two goals in a minute and a half. Well, actually less than a minute and a half. Short pass. That's OK, and a mark to Timmy Watson. Now, Watson would be about 45 metres out from goal on about a 45-degree angle. I think he should get the distance. Watson coming in. They need this goal to lift themselves a bit because that's a fantastic start to Hawthorne today. There it is on its way. It's a good kick. It's a beautiful kick. It won't make the distance. Finally, four through for one point. So, uh, Hawthorne, two goals, 12 points to Essendon, one point. And into this quarter by just on uh, three and a half minutes. Ball back in the play again by McCarthy. DP at Domenico. There's his tag. Goes the punch herd. Ball tapped on again. Out to Wallace. DP at Domenico's kick is smothered, but Wallace covers up well. Gets the ball back towards centre half forward. The ball over the head of the pack. A bad miss by Foles that time. Going out as Robertson. He's a dangerous player. A shot for goal. This is not bad. Another one. That's their third. Two goals to Robertson. And Hawthorne. Three straight kicks for goal. 12 points. To uh, Essendon. One point only. Watch it again. On replay, the former Wynyard player, Colin Robertson. And the ex-Tasmanian puts it through for his second goal. Hawthorne lead by 17 points at the four and a quarter minute mark of the first term. Robertson looking a much better player in attack today than he did when the sides last met. He played in defence mainly, picked up by Walsh, but a free kick, says the umpire. And a bit of a dish up there between Peyton and Neagle. And the free kick, and, uh, uh, who's it going to? We'll go there, I think. Walsh? To... Walsh, I think, Pete. I'm not quite sure on this one. Yes, I think it Yeah, Walsh. Ball comes back to the Essendon centre no, half. Neagle. No, it's going to Neagle. Neagle at centre half back goes straight down the ground. Donnell is the flyer. In fact, three Essendon players flew there. Van der Haar comes down with the ball. Could have got one in the back. The umpire says no free kick. There will be a ball up at the point of the square just in Essendon's attacking zone. By Glenn James having a few words to Richard Loveridge and Frank Donnell. Clayton in front. It's won by Madden. 
a real scramble out there. I think that's Wallace in the bottom of that stack up. And At the, the moment, Bob uh, Hawthorne, the more aggressive side. They're leading to the ball, Lou, and that's the most important thing. They're first to the ball, and they've done well with it. As Madden got the tap. Lovebridge can't get clear, neither can Ayers. In fact, the ball hasn't moved more than about five metres. Now it's uh, socket out towards Watson. Watson up towards left half forward. That greasy practice wicket area out there, and it will be a boundary throw in. Boundary throw in, left half forward for Essendon. Merritt and McCarthy. Oh, a good fist away by Russo up towards centre wing. Robertson this time behind uh, Donnell, who fires out the hand pass. And picked up at centre field for Essendon and driven forward. That's OK, the mark taken by Watson, who shoots for goal. It's going close and marked. I think it is a mark. Yes, just sneered inside. Here's comes towards the MCC member side. Merritt went the punch away. DP and Domenico grabbed. No free kick to either player. Socket away by Lester Smith up towards centre wing. Wallace should get there first for Hawthorne. Duckworth, good use of the body. And comes out with the ball. He's caught. Tries to get it to Baker. Likewise caught. Holding the ball. And a free kick to Hawthorne. Oh, they're looking good at the moment, Hawthorne. They're really going after the ball. And a free kick will go here to Judge. Judge boots the ball across the centre field. The mark taken here by Payton. Doesn't waste any time. Over it goes now to Swab. Swab decides to have a shot at goal. There's a chance for another one. Duckworth and Matthews. Both find a good. Matthews goes down. He was nearly grabbed by the leg. And Lovridge puts it through for another one. Oh, they're looking good, Hawthorne. Four goals on the board. 24 points to Eston. One point only. Once a, <coughs> excuse me. Once again... Matthews getting the ball out, and Ludwig puts it through. Back in the centre again. 24 points, plays one. And the Hawks are alight at the moment. There's the uh, half-back line for uh, Hawthorne. Knocked out by... Well, actually missed that. Finally, it comes back to Matt, and he's upended. Wallace gets one a bit high. The umpire says play on. But he's found a free kick. It'll go to Timmy Watson. No doubt Aston's best player There's so a far. fight. There's a fight. There's a box on. We tip that out there on the wing position. We'll go back with the play. Burn. Oh, uh, a great big punch. That was Mew, I should say. Finally, it comes out there to her to hand pass. Well, the fight's more interesting the than fight's the play. Still going. The players are going over left and right out there as the players out there now on that... Uh, well, Madden's reported. You can bet that. Yes. Short oh, Payton probably is too. Short pass and a mark taken here by Vander. You keep your eye on the fights, boys. Vanderhaar about 50 metres out from goal, lobs it in the goal square. At the back is Williams, couldn't grab that one, it's through for one point. The free, kick, free, free, kick free, kick. free kick, free kick. Free kick, goal to Hawthorne down there. Glenn James is at the busiest job, Lou. He's writing an essay. Four kicks to Lovridge so far, up onto centre wing, could have been on the shoulder. No, says the umpire, play on, Ezard tries to do just that, a short kick out of the pack, and a good mark taken by Lovridge again. On to O'Halloran. A chip pass, trying to find Green. Payton's there. No, it, it is Payton. Oh, beautiful interception by Madden. Gets it back to Donnell. High towards half-forward. Merritt on his own. Must mark it. Or a free kick. Well, he played the mark all three there. I think it'll be It'd have to be the mark, wouldn't it? So Merritt a chance to bring up Essendon's first goal. He's about 40 metres out, directly in front. One of the players in that Fracar, not long back. Vanderhaar, can't take the mark. Three for one behind, Essendon second. And the scoreboard in the 84 grand final, 24 plays two in favour of Hawthorne. McCarthy brings the ball back into play. Looking for DP Domenico and Hurd. Birdie tries to mark it one-handed, Hurd wins out, jumps over him. Birdie will get the free kick though. At the good, de good decision. Free kick to uh, Di Pietro Manico. 15 metre penalty against her. Not another 15 minutes, that uh, 15 metres. And they're certainly going for the doctor today, the umpires. They want to get on top of these players. Di Pietro Manico on the wing position. There's the kick well over the half forward line. It's a long kick. Tuck coming in. Got the mark. A great mark to Michael Tuck. And a 15 metre penalty too. Yes, this brings you within about uh, 25 metres of the goals on a... Bit of an angle, but not a difficult shot. That was a great mark to Tuck. Waiting on Tuck now from about uh, 25 metres out. Let's see what Michael Tuck can do with this one. They've kicked four straight so far, Hawthorne. 
There it is, but he's up target and it's through for one point. So Hawthorne go on to four goals, 125 to Essendon, two points only. Into this quarter by uh, just on uh, 12 minutes as we wait now for the ball to come back into play. Duckworth drives it out here wide to the flank and the mark taken there by Walsh. It'll be a free kick too against Brewer. 15-metre penalty. In addition a few of those out. Well, they're trying to get on top of these players. They want to let them know who's boss. There's a short kick to Matt. He tries to pick it up, the big fella. He finally does. Over to Foles. Good play by Matt. But there's Lester Smith coming in to take an easy mark against uh, Donnell. He'll get a 15-metre penalty against him. He should get 30. Umpire. He will. He's got 30. Russo really on the job there, and uh, James doing equally as well. By Sawers. Sawers, I should say. Seven 15-metre penalties already, Pete. There's the kick on its way. Up there to watch the full forward position. Burn in the front posse. Couldn't hold the mark. Matthews comes in. Well, they pile in. Down goes Hurd. He got one in the back from DP at a minute ago. And the umpire will play a free kick to Hurd down there in the back pocket, doing a pretty good job on DP at a minute ago so far. Short pass. It's OK. Madden's got the mark. A hand pass coming over to Western. Kick back there towards centre-half forward for the Bombers. Punched away by the uh, Hawthorne defence. Donnell taps it on in front of him. He goes after it again. Shows a bit of pace, gets away from McCarthy. Turns, he doesn't know where to go. He's gone for a short pass, it'll be OK. Bradbury gets the ball back, but he's put it out of bounds. Looking there uh, for little Williams, but uh, off target that time, and the ball out of bounds. About 60 metres around from the Eston goal. Ball back into play again. Down goes McCarthy. Hand pass coming out that time from Russo. It's Ayres driving the ball back there. It's a bad kick picked up by Clark. A chance now for Neagle. Goes for a long hand pass out wide to Bradbury at half forward. Bradbury straightens up, goes for the long kick. A chance for Baker to mark. Baker and Green both go down. Will, uh, Ezard couldn't pick it up. Picked up now by Danaher. The kick doesn't travel any distance. Little uh, Ezard's got the mark, but the umpire called play on a hand pass. Coming back now to Clark. A shot at goal. And a mark in front of goal there by Baker. So here's a chance now for the Bombers to score their first goal for the match. He's only about uh, three metres out from goal. On a bit of an angle, but he should get this one through for their first. And we're just over the 14-minute mark of the first quarter of the grand final of 1984. Kick on its way. There it is. And that's a goal. The Bombers first. So it's... Hawthorne, four goals, 125 to Essendon, one goal, 2-8. Baker kicked Essendon's first goal last week. In fact, he got three in the first quarter. 25 plays eight of the 84 grand final. Knocked away by Payton, but picked up for Essendon out there by Clark. Clark's kick is a high one out towards centre wing. Two Hawthorne players could have spoiled each other, but Wallace comes down with the ball. Wallace to half forward and Matthews in front. Can't take the mark. Picked up by Donnell, uh, Folds. He's caught. Judge threads his way through the pack looking for the hand pass to Wallace and gets it Wallace's kick is a poor one oh, and uh, Duckworth that was the evener upper and it, it could be reversed that free kick it could be reversed wouldn't be at all surprised watch again on replay as Duckworth takes the mark no. well that was the square off for the one before no love lost between those two, but I dare say they have a healthy respect for each other nonetheless. That'll be a free kick for Watson, sure. No? Watson lost. Nice throw, Ian Mick. I could have been proud of that one. Down towards Neagle. Well caught by Tuck, but there's a wrestle behind the play again. It'll be a free kick for Hawthorne. It'll go to Russo. The bomber's scragging a bit, Bob. It'll go to Tuck because Russo was hit after he got rid of the ball. So Tuck to take the free kick. At... Uh, Right half forward, he's gone for a short pass. Schwab on his own takes the easiest of marks. Schwab, right half forward flank, about 75 metres from goal. Ball into the full forward pocket. Judge was the high flyer. And we'll see a bounce just off the edge of the 10 metre square. Certainly a very fiery opening, but we expected that. It was the case in the reserve game here this afternoon. And certainly the case in the seniors as well. It'll be a free kick to Essendon for on the shoulder and another 15 metre penalty, I should think, which will bring the Essendon player concern. I think it was Madden to get the free up to centre half back. Madden appeared to have his number taken before, then again, so did a few others, but we'll have to wait on that until after the game. Madden with the free kick from centre half back. And the ball back there now with the chance for the uh, 
Bombers to go on an attack as we see Merritt take that mark out there at half four. Well, they're looking a little bit better, uh, Essendon. A bit shell shocked early as the ball drops short, but there's airs in the way. Cop one that time uh, from Williams, but not that uh, bad. Ayers comes out to the members' side of the ground looking for Lester Smith, and he's found him, and Lester Smith has got the mark at half back. Grabbed by Watson, another 15 metre uh, penalty. There's certainly been plenty of those handed out today. The ball shot back there towards half forward. Oh, great mark to Wallace. Wallace at half forward, looking for a couple of leads, goes for a short pass, it's all right, and Matthews has got it. Got away from Duckworth. He's right on the point of the square. Goes for the short path, not a good kick by Matthews. Goes back there to uh, Robertson. Matthews gives a wild hand pass, grabbed here by Green. Finally, it comes out to Matthews again. They're messing about as we see Pape take the ball out there at centre half forward. Over to O'Hull on a short pass to Swap. It's too long and a mark taken there by Hawker. Hawker's up like a shot. Over to Clark. Another wide one now as we see Baker give the ball back to Neagle. Neagle couldn't get the run of the ball. Finally, the ball comes Ooh. back to Lovridge. He's down. The umpire's found a free kick, and the little rival will take that free kick around about the centre field. What a tough game this is. Well, it's real old-fashioned football. We see Green go for a long kick, and it's a beautiful kick down there, but Duckworth couldn't hold the mark, but he batters up the second time, picks it up very well. Goes for the boundary line, and but it's too long. It's out of bounds. So it'll be a penalty-free kick to go to Hawthorne and half forward. Into this quarter by uh, just on 19 minutes. And Hawthorne are 25 points to Essendon, 8 points. Duckworth in front. Oh, great mark to burn. Too tall for Duckworth. Hawthorne are looking good. A very strong side. As we wait now for the big fella burn from about uh, 30 metres out from goal. There's the kick on its way. It's a high one. One point make the distance. The pack. Oh, there's a great mark to Brereton. A beautiful mark. Right in the middle of the pack. That's a lovely mark, that one, Luke. Well, Brereton's got a very difficult shot. He's only about two or three metres out, but right against the line. On replay, we see Brereton judge that ball to perfection. Waiting on Brereton now to put uh, the Hawks' uh, fifth goal on the board. That's providing he's successful, of course. Decides to run around. He's threaded it through for another one. So Hawthorne go on to five goals. One 31 points to Essendon. One goal, two eight points. And we watch again. And Burton runs around and glides it through. 31 plays eight in the 84 BFL Grand Final from Seven Sport in Australia. And wherever you're watching around Australia or in fact around the world, we hope you're enjoying the telecast today. Knocked down by Madden, but not very far. A fist on by Baker. Essendon knock it further forward. Up towards their centre half forward position, Green gets scragged but gets his kicker. The umpire says though it was a scrag, and uh, Green could have almost lost that. Now it's going to McCarthy for free kick. McCarthy's kick up towards centre wing. Brereton can't take the mark on that occasion. Spooned out to Payton, and the umpire says a throw. Now either by Payton or uh, no Brereton. Brereton. I think it was Brereton. Payton. Williams has the free kick for Essendon at right half back flank. He's got up towards centre half forward. Big pack of players set themselves. Ears went through, so too did Clark. They both lost the ball. Here's a chance for Williams. He's got the ball in front of him now, taken by Merritt. Merritt looking for Watson and he finds him, but he's just about uh, pinned. Shrugs the tackle well from Russo. Chips the pass up towards full forward. Ezard robes it beautifully and a snapshot is close and through for one point, I think. One behind the Essendon total, taking Essendon now to three, one goal, three, nine. Hawthorne, five, one, 31. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. 22 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Into this quarter by... Just on uh, 22 minutes. Ball picked up here now. By Madden, goes for a short pass. Oh, down goes Van Hart, taps the ball actually onto a swap. Gave him a bit of a break, but that's a bad hand pass. It should bounce okay for Lester Smith out there at half back. It does. The kick back there towards the centre of the ground and a mark taken by Robertson. A quick hand pass. Coming over there to a Green. Green goes for a pass. The ball tapped away that time by Hawker. Coming out to meet it as judge. He's in the front posse. Hawker's there, won't give up. Kicked off the ground again. Comes out to Russell. He goes down. 
It'll be against. No, it's out of bounds. I thought it may have been a free kick against Duckworth, but the umpire said no. I thought it might have been a trip ball. Yes, I think it was, Lou, but uh, the umpire not in position to see that one. Waiting for the ball to come back. Madden and uh, Payton to do battle there. It's tapped over the back of that. I think Payton may have got that out. Wallace and Roberts have messed each other up, but Wallace recovers OK. Gives the ball back to Mew. And Hawthorne go back into attack. Byrne got under that one. He actually messed up Brewer on that time, but coming in to help them out as Tuck. Hooks the ball back to Matthews. This looks dangerous. Oh, good play that time by Fowles. The ball was lost by the Hawthorne players. Picked up by Fowles again, and he saved the day there with a pass over that of Clark. Back there it goes now to Hurd. Out to uh, Danaher. He's been pretty well covered by Mew. Back to Neagle. They're going for the hand pass. They're messing him out a bit as Baker takes it at half forward. Another short pass, a bad one, and a good mark taken there by a Helder. Not much system about their play at the moment, Bob. I think they're trying to break Hawthorne up, Lou, by uh, hand passing and dropping the ball in short and going around the ground in various uh, places. They're trying to break up the system of Hawthorne. That's Danaher with a hand pass to Neagle, and uh, the Bombers go back into attack. Vanderhaar comes across, but Ayers, the ever reliable Ayers, taps the ball away, he backs up again. A hand pass back to Pike. He looked no man's land, put Green under pressure. Oh! Dropping the ball against it. That was a, a very funny decision. Well, the umpire was well on the spot there, and uh, I must admit, uh, as you watch on replay now, the ball comes down to his side. But he's up target, and he's put it out of bounds on the full. He had the chance of a lifetime. My golly, oh, Helmer went in after, uh, after Vanderhaar. That time as the ball comes back into play by uh, Ayers. Hurd still doing a great job on DP and Amenico, and the umpire's found a free kick. It'll be against DP and Amenico. It'll go to Hurd there on the uh, half uh, forward line for Essendon, about 65 metres out from their goal. Hurd to take the free kick. Efton L comes off the ground. Mew. 15 metre penalty. Essendon have given away a few of those. Seven Essendon and three Hawthorne. The stats on that so far. Schwab can't complete the mark. Hawker comes out with the ball. Good tackle by Wallace. In goes Hurd. Just about drags Wallace's head off, but no free kick for that. He's played holding the ball. And Terry Wallace asks the question. Williams gives the ball back to the Essendon teammate and Hurd. Another 15 metre penalty that makes it seven to four. He's doing a great job on DP at a minute ago, Bob. Yes, he is, isn't he? Harvey on his own, he's just come on, so he was loose. Payton, yes, marks it, third try. Ian Payton at full back. Goes wide towards the practice wicket area. Schwab and Williams. Schwab is caught without the ball. Play on as the call, Robertson does. The advantage rule being played by the umpires. Tuck sets himself for the mark and gets it. Then Matthews collects Bradbury in the meantime. And Bradbury collects Matthews in the meantime. And gets 15 for it. He was the one that got seen. Matthews didn't get seen. That's the one that he didn't see. This is the one that he did. I think Lee, <laughs> Lee helped things along too. Yeah. Michael Tuck from 50 metres out. Shoots at goal. He's kicked 1-1 one, one so far. Now Tuck. And Tuck puts through Hawthorne 6 goal. 6-1-37. Essendon 1-3-9. Well, certainly aided by that 15 metre penalty. Michael Tuck lining it up. And goal number six. 37 plays nine at the MCG in the BFL Grand Final. Payton tries to charge through, went without the ball. In goes Harvey for position number two. He gets offloaded for his trouble. The ball out wide towards centre wing. Bradbury and Tuck racing for it. And even money bet that one. The ball beating both of them over the boundary line. And we'll see a throw in as Bradbury decides to go on with it. Six goals, 137 Hawthorne to Western, one goal, three nine points. Into this quarter by nearly 27 minutes. Ball knocked out again. Picked up uh, by uh, Bradbury. The ball driven out towards that uh, bomber half forward line. The ball hits the deck. Coming into meet it now is Baker. Played so well last week. Punched away by McCarthy. Here's a go now for Danaher. He's got the open space to run to an open goal. Fires. But he's up target and through for one point. So the Bombers not attacking too well at the moment. One goal for ten points. To Hawthorne off to a great start in this first quarter. Six goals, 137. Vanderhoe has been shifted to the half-back plate to pick up Tuck. There was a bad kicking that time by O'Halvan. Marked here by the Essendon skipper, Danaher. Now he's well within kicking distance. He'd be about 45 metres out from goal. 
while that was going on. Lou Bradbury off, Dunnell on. Hey, waiting now for Danaher. They need this goal badly before uh, the end of this first quarter. There, it's on its way. It's a good kick and it's a goal. Well, that's the one they needed. Six goals, 137. Hawthorne to Western, two goals, 416. And once again, Bob, a short kick from defence resulting in a goal. Waiting on the centre bounce again. Into this quarter by just on 28 and a half minutes. And the Bombers really need another goal before the end of this first quarter. Van Haar onto Brereton as the ball comes down to Watson. Taps the ball back there to Big Merritt. Gets a hurried kick back over the half forward line for Essendon. There's a go for Danaher. Danaher away from Mew. Goes back into attack again down towards the forward pocket. In the front posse that time was O'Halloran. Was he grabbed too high? The umpire said no and the ball is out of bounds. About 35 metres around from the uh, Essendon goal. There's 16 points to Hawthorne, 37. Well, Matt missed that one. Wallace still in the thick of things, but he's always doing that as he finally comes out with a good ball. Good play by Wallace. The ball drops short, punched away again by Hawker. And it's grabbed by Green, getting more kicks than he did the last time these two sides met. Matthews couldn't hold that down. Goes deep here to go Taps the ball on. It's on the boundary line. I think it's gone over the line by uh, Vanderhaar. And there'll be a throw-in uh, from that Hawthorne half forward line about 65 metres around from the uh, Hawthorne goals. Six goals, one plays. Two goals, four in favour of the Hawks. Merritt and Payton. Knocked out to DP to Medico. Not travelling 10 metres, that kick. Well, it's got one too high from Ezard. Or Brasso, it was. And there's the siren. It'll need to be a mammoth kick to score from there, so I don't think it'll be... Uh, I guess he'll take it. He'll give it a try, that's for sure. Dave McNamara would uh, find it difficult to kick from there, I think. It won't be a score. And so at quarter time, the scoreboard in the 84 grand final, 37 plays 16 in favour of Hawthorne. It's about set for the second quarter now. We begin the second term of the 1984 VFL Grand Final. Hawthorne leading 37 points to 16 before a capacity crowd at the MCG. Umpire Glenn James comes in to bounce the ball. Madden and Payton, won by Madden. A mammoth knockaway up towards centre-half forward. A chance for Essendon here. Schwab, though, gets in the road for Hawthorne. He's gone for a pass up towards centre field. Oh, the old let-it-go trick. Payton did, picked up by Folds. Folds out for Hurd on right centre wing, and the Bombers will swing into attack. Watson saying, no one chasing you, and there isn't. He's gone for a pass, and that's OK. Harvey takes the grab. He's gone for a pass in turn. Up to Donnell, who shoots at goal, and he's got it. One point. And that's what Essendon wanted, a goal to start proceedings, but I think they'd be quite happy with the forward thrust. 20 points for difference. Ball back into play again. Out there towards the centre-half back position. Oh, there's a good mark to McCarthy. Still the difference, 20 points, 15-metre penalty. A hand pass coming over to Russo. Russo looks for a lead. Coming out to meet it is Brereton. Couldn't hold that mark. Well backed up that time was Van Der He's pushed over the line to get a free kick against Brereton. Play on. Now the umpire's called the play on. Short pass coming over to, uh, to uh, Harvey. Back to Watson. Watson goes for a pass. It'll be all right, I'd reckon. Yes, a good one there. And Matt's got the mark. Set a half forward. Doesn't know where to go. He's lost. It goes back to Ezard. A wild one out now to Clark. Clark fumbles, he straightens up now, fires at the goal, but he's off target, and it's through for another point. Aston looking a lot better, they're bouncing back. You can feel that, six goals, 137 Hawthorne to Aston, 2719. They kick straight and they'd be in front just about. There's the kick again, back into play, it's a high one, out there towards the half-back line, off the top of the pack, grabbed by uh, Wallace, over to Deep Pierre Manico, a pass coming up to Brereton, grabbed by Matthews, he's looking good as he gives a hand pass to Judge. Judge gets the ball back to Wallace, backing up well. Back to Judge again. This looks like a goal to me. If I've ever seen one, there it is. It's a beauty. Oh, there's a box on there between Judge and Duckworth. Oh, Billy Duckworth down trying down. to ruffle them up a bit, but it's seven goals, 143 to Essendon. Two goals, 719. And judge, no mistake about that one. Oh, the... <laughs> 
Well, Billy Duckworth doing the best for his side he possibly can. He's trying to rough them up and put them off their balance, but hasn't succeeded so far because they're looking good. Center bounce again. Knocked out by Madden for the second time. Harvey comes in. It's a hurried kick. It's a grubber. Backing up well as Lister Smith. Kicks the ball high out towards that wing position. Loveridge couldn't hold that one, but backing up as usual is Tucker. Hand pass to Wallace. He's playing a great game over to Brereton. This could be another one, but he's up target this time. And it hits the point post, and it's out of bounds. On the ball, a penalty free kick to go down there to Weston. The ball back into play again. D.P. Domenico and Hurd having a great battle out there. Down goes D.P. Domenico, cleared away by Hurd. He's on top. Danaher tries to crash through the pack, but he's grabbed by two of them that time. Couldn't get clear. The ball tapped on by Clark. Intercepting beautifully that time as airs. A long hand pass. Out there to Russo. Another one uh, coming to Green. Green fumbled, tapped the ball on. Backing up as Danaher. He's lost it. He goes down. Grabbed by D.P. Domenico. Tuck tries to get it out. Plenty of fumbling. Kicked off the ground by Byrne. In goes Big Matt, but he's too uh, slow to pick that one up. Finally grabbed by uh, Walsh, has grabbed. The umpire said no, he had no hope. It was a good tackle by Brereton, but he had no chance. And the umpire will ball it up at half forward for Hawthorne. It's about 65 metres out from their goal. They're in front by 25 points. Only a free kick against uh, Byrne. Van Hart back on the forward line now, Luke. Well, he wasn't doing too well there in defence, but they need someone up there in attack also. Bob, as we watch uh, Matt drive the ball back towards the centre of the ground. But there's Swab got under that one. And young Harvey's doing pretty well since he came out of the ground. Hooks the ball round, looking for Merritt. It's too long. Coming in to meet it now is O'Halloran. Goes for a long hand pass. It'll be OK. Finally grabbed by Mew. Nearly caught one from Meagle, but he struck him up. Goes for a beautiful pass, and there's a mark to Lester Smith. Lester Smith at right half forward flank. No one chasing. Harvey's still about 10 metres away. He'll be blocked. Lester Smith keeps going. He could just about score. Shoots. It's coming round, but again, out of bounds on the full. And that's four out of bounds on the full in the last uh, two and a half minutes to Hawthorne. Well, they're wasting a few opportunities after playing so well to get the ball down there, Pete. Weston. Weston at left back pocket. Lobs it high, looking for Madden, of course. Madden has it punched away from him. Brereton's there for Hawthorne, fires it out to Green. Green in turn, a high kick towards Matthews. Two Essendon players are there. Tuck steals it from them. Up towards Judge and Bradbury. Neither can take the mark. Loveridge runs into trouble. Matthews, out of bounds on the full. That's five. Well, they don't want to kick goals, Hawthorne. But uh, full credit to the Essendon defence. They're putting them under plenty of pressure. And Weston again. Same spot as he was uh, a minute ago. Brings the ball back into play once more. Looking for Walsh this time. Over the top, Brereton could have got into his back. The umpire says it's uh, a play on call. I don't know how he can. It's a high tackle. Well, I must have been, I didn't see that. And uh, Kevin Walsh could have given away 15 metres. In fact, he has that very silly, Bob, isn't it? I think it was a bit of an accident, that one. I, I don't really think that's, that was the 15 metre, the uh, free kick. But... I think he meant to throw it back, but in his anxiety to get back and pick up his man, it didn't go to him. That's not a bad sort of a kick, going pretty close, touched right on the line, I think. Yes, it is. And so, one point. 7-3 to 2-7, 45 players, 19. Approaching the 10-minute mark now of the term. Folds, goes towards the member stand side. Paddled further forward by Russo. Wallace is on the boundary line. He goes over. So too does Timmy Watson. And we'll see a boundary throw in between right half forward flank and right forward pocket for Hawthorne. 26 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Just over the 10 minute mark of the second quarter. The grand final of 1984 as Foles clears the ball back out there. But a good mark to Mew. They've had a great tussle, Mew and Danaher. I'd say that uh, Mew is just on top, Bob. I think so, Luke. The ball driven up there by Mew over the half forward line for the Hawks. They fly. Little Loveridge tries to juggle that one, but he won't give in. He goes down, taps the ball out to Brereton. A good hand pass out to Byrne. The kick is not a good one. It beats him out for a chance for Judge now. Grabs the ball up beautifully. A hand pass to Green. That's smart. They can't get a goal at the moment as Loveridge picks it up. Turn, snaps at the goals. It's into the goal square. Deep yet a minute ago. The ball tapped down. It's literally out of bounds, I would say. Yes, out of bounds in the forward pocket. Well, full marks to uh, Essendon defence because they're really fighting hard there, but uh, Hawthorne going into attack on every occasion. Oh, there's a great battle. Matthews with a snap at goal. This is close. It'll be a goal. A 
goal to Matthews. Eight goals, three, 51 Hawthorne. To Essendon, two goals, seven, 19. Well, that was Matthews at his best, Lou, uh, bringing up his second goal. Um, very quick to get ball to boot. We watch Matthews. Whether he knew where the goals or were or not uh, doesn't matter, but uh, the way he got ball to boot immediately, and uh, that's the greatness of Lee Matthews. Set about 51 plays, 19 in favour of Hawthorne. Small kick that time by Izzard. Plenty of fighting going on as Merritt is uh, virtually tripped, but the umpire said no, it'll be a ball up at centre field again. We're just on the 12-minute mark of this second quarter, and Hawthorne looking good. Matten down there in the forward pocket as the ball is... Oh, there was a high tackle that time to Baker. And we see Hurt and DP had a minute go, and Hurt actually had a go at Robertson too, but uh, the free kick to go to Baker right on the edge of the square. And Merritt just gave Robertson one to go on with. Yes, he did too. The umpire didn't see it. Baker. From centre week. Looks for Madden. Can't complete the mark. Paddled away from Green by Vanderhaar. Up towards full forward for Essendon, knocked away by Ayers, picked up by Byrne, who shrugs one tackle, goes out wide, and Wallace picks up a slips catch type of uh, mark. DP to Medico. Well, a good interception by Baker and gets it down to Clark. Beautiful play. Madden from the back. Byrne in front. No mark to either player. Good decision. Williams shrugs one tackle. Caught. No play on, says the umpire. Out comes Harvey. He's done well since he came on. Harvey's kick is a high one. No one can take the mark there. The chance for Schwab. Plays it well. Schwab from centre half back. Goes long. Walsh and Brereton. Walsh, good mark. Gets clear. Shoots it out towards DP to Manico, who takes a fine mark. Had to sit on Hurd then. DP to Manico, short of left centre wing. Kick topping a little bit short. Oh, Merritt missed it, what he should have taken. Picked up by Tuck, but he's caught with the ball. Merritt wins out. Up to half forward, Mew and Danaher. Byrne backing up, fires it back and turn to Mew. Short kick again, up towards Tuck and Merritt. Wallace, grabbed, did he have the ball? No, says the umpire, and Wallace to take the free kick. Very cleverly played by Wallace. 11 possessions to Wallace, he's gone for a pass. It's on to Robertson at the practice wicket area. Robertson, long, in towards goal. Won't be a score, or will it be a behind? Yes, one point, says the umpire. And one point taking Hawthorne to wait for. Essendon 2 step. And it's 33 points the difference. 14 minute mark of the second quarter. Hawthorne still looking very good. They're well on top as the ball goes out there. And a good mark to Timmy Watson. Started the first quarter off very well, but slowed down a bit. But most of the Essendon players have done likewise. There's a 15 metre penalty against Hawthorne. This brings uh, Watson up to the wing position. And the Bombers badly needing a goal at this uh, particular stage of the match, Bob, to lift their game. Because I think they, uh, their morale seems to be down a little bit at the moment. They're not running as they were earlier. Kick by Watson as across the centre half forward. Oh, there's a, a mark to Vanderhaar. They need this fellow to fly the play in Dutchman. He just about kicked this if he goes long. And he's well out from centre half forward, about 60 metres out. That's a mammoth kick towards the goals. And it's finally tapped on by Robertson through for one point. So the difference now, 32 points, two goals, 8-20, plays, eight goals, four, 52 in favour of Hawthorne. Short pass, it's a dangerous one. Oh, fumble that time by Byrne, he's got time to pick this one. Oh, well tackled by Merritt. Gets a hand pass back to the umpire, set to hold the ball, and rightly so. Once again, a short kick has got Hawthorne into trouble. That's right. Merritt goes for a short pass, looking for Danaher. Not a good one, and Mark there. Oh, the umpire's called player because it was taken by Mew. A shot by Harvey. A chance there for McCarthy's tapped the ball on. It's going through for a point. They were lucky to get away with that, Hawthorne. That short passing in defence could be their undoing today. They're not careful. Eight goals, four plays, two goals, nine. As we wait for the ball to come back into play. It's a high kick. DP at a minute ago. Couldn't mark that. The umpire's found a free kick. It'll go back there to O'Halloran against Van der Haar for one in the back. So it's O'Halloran out there towards the half-back flank position for uh, Hawthorne. Hawthorne 52 points to uh, Essendon 21. No one could mark that one. Knocked on by Neagle. Actually knocked it out there to uh, Russo. who has got a clear run. Goes for a pass to Matthews. And I would say that he's well on top of Duckworth today. 
He's looking a mighty dangerous player, this 30-year-old, 33-year-old captain. A short pass to Swap. And Swap's about uh, 45 to 50 metres out from goal. He's a very reliable player, this one, too. He played a great game in that second semi-final against Essendon. There she is on its way. Doesn't make the distance. Falls short. Punched away again that time by Donella. Hand pass coming over from uh, to Duckworth. Duckworth gets the ball out wide. And then we see Baker. He's played pretty well today for Essendon. A good pass to Harvey. He's done very well since coming on the ground. To Clark. And the little Lezard's grab. He's gone without the ball. Well played by Lester Smith, but he can't get up. Finally, a hand pass comes out to Green. He was put under press. He got one too high. And Green will take the free kick. The Bombers are tackling a bit uh, high. And, of course, Hawthorne are reaping the benefit uh, with the free kicks. The ball finally over the half-forward line for Hawthorne. Players set themselves. Tuck's got it. It'll be a mark to Tuck. He's only about 40 metres out from goal. They're playing with a lot more confidence than Eston. And Tuck's already kicked. Uh, hasn't kicked the goal. Now, it's a free kick against Tuck. Hawthorne crowd not too happy about the decision. Taken by Merritt. Robertson. Robertson at centre field, decides to play on, gets around Williams, pass is not a good one, in fact it's a shot. Weston, Williams with it, must be very slippery over there, Weston again, looks for Danaher, he's got him but he couldn't take the mark, oh, McCarthy just missed that one, and plays off. He's gone for a pass, hit two as a shocker, that's Watson in, and there'll be a 15 metre penalty shortly. takes the hand pass kick is high towards Danaher again you goes the spoil Danaher has he got the mark no says the umpire he got one in the back I thought the umpire says still play on a real scramble of the player sees the ball out to Gary Ayres but the umpire in the meantime has found a free kick for a trip and it will go to Chris Mew Mew at left half back flat not a good kick by the Hawthorne centre half back that'll be a free kick to Baker Danaher off the ground Thompson on, Baker, wide towards half-forward, looking for Danaher again. This time he's got clear of Mew. Gathers it in right on the boundary line, hooks it back towards the forward pocket. It may elude Madden, will it? No, it doesn't. Kept in play. Yes, out rows it. Out bounds, Matt. Bounds, was it? Yes. Clark on to Matthews. Duckworth coming up to the forward line, it looks. McCarthy and Madden. Mew, a fresh air shot. Picked up by Wallace, tries the hand pass. Almost intercepting out there was Thompson. In goes Robertson over the top of him. Uh, Thompson comes out with the ball. Not for very long. It's a real scramble. Finally, it's picked up by Russell Green. Green tries to get around Baker. Successfully executes that manoeuvre up towards centre wing. Picked up by Brereton. His kick into the open spaces. Out comes Matthews. Clark this time his opponent. Matthews does it beautifully. Fires out the hand pass to Lovridge. Doesn't get a favourable bounce. He shepherded. Lovridge on the boundary line, has a shot at goal. It's close, but not close enough, and three for one point to Hawthorne, taking their score to eight goals, five, to Essendon, two goals, nine. 32 points, the difference. And we're just on the 20-minute mark of this second quarter. And still Essendon can't break uh, through, a short pass. It'll be OK and marked here by Neagle down there in the back pocket position. A hand pass coming over to Foles. Well, we juggle that one, swap on his tail. The ball down there towards Duckworth playing at full forward. We see the ball grabbed here now by uh, Harvey. A long uh, one down there towards that half forward line. Watson spins out of the pack beautifully. Gets away from Russo. The kick is not a good one. Finally picked up here now with a long hand pass from Dano. Over to Little Lizard. He gets the ball back to Williams. This could be dangerous. It could be a goal. And the little rover runs into the goal now. A hand pass coming over to Duckworth. And he scores the goal. So that move paid off straight away. Eight goals, five, 53, Hawthorne, Western, 3 9, 27. So that's uh, certainly a goal that Essendon needed, uh, and they're playing better than Hawthorne at the present moment. Uh, 26 points the difference of that move of Duckworth, the full forward bump, could be uh, pretty helpful to the Bombers. Essendon are playing well around the ground at the moment, only need a little bit of luck. Brereton taps the ball on, over to DP at a manic go. A hurried kick, a chance for Little Lovridge. He's doing a great job, a great mark. We see Neagle knock his own mate over that time, foul. So it's Lovridge at uh, centre-half forward, about 50 metres out from goal. I think the distance may be too far for the little fellow. He's already kicked one goal. There it is on its way. It's a nice kick. Now it can hold that one, and it's finally forced over the line and out of bounds at the forward pocket position. 
23 and a half minutes gone, eight goals, five plays, three goals, nine in favour of uh, Hawthorne. But he put the ball to come back into play. Well, Payton couldn't get clear, merits into his back, they fumble there, and the umpire's got to ball it up again, still in the forward pocket position, about 15 metres out from the Hawthorne goal. They're in front by 26 points. Knocked out by Payton, it comes down there, they still juggle again, and once again the umpire will ball it up. It's been a pretty torrid game, even though uh, Hawthorne are in front by 26 points. The Bombers haven't given up by a long shot yet. Got a fighting spirit about this team. Knocked out by Merritt, punched on by Foles, it comes out to Wallace. Wallace in a bit of trouble, goes for a hand pass. It's a wild one, Merritt comes over, overruns the ball. Finally it comes out to Tuck, in a bit of trouble, he's over the line and out of bounds. This defence has stood up pretty well this quarter for Reston, Bobby. Yes, they're really applying pressure. They want, uh, anything less than that pressure could easily have seen Hawthorne kick a lot of goals. Boundary throw in again, picked up by Neagle. Walsh. Up to half back. Over the top, Burn can't take the mark. New dives on top of it. They try and get a hand pass out, not quick enough. Here's Duckworth who kicked their last goal. He's gone for a hand pass, paddled back by Burn, but Duckworth intercepted his court. Burn again, gets it wide of Thompson, in goes Neagle, so too does O'Halloran, Thompson dives on top of him, and it will be a ball up on centre wing. Tackling of both sides has been pretty ferocious. A bounce on centre wing, 23 and a quarter minutes gone, second term, knocked away by Michael Byrne, who's there, folds for Essendon, leads Robertson in the race for the ball. Lester Smith, he's been fairly quiet today, Robertson paddles it out wide to Tuck, Tuck in turn tries to find a teammate, but Merritt's there. Neagle. Short pass. Thompson. Essendon looking a little bit better. He'll try and find Harvey. Doesn't get a favourable bounce, Harvey. In goes Schwab. It's an Essendon free kick. Ninth possession since he came on, Harvey. So, as I said, he's done well. And look at that for uh, disposal. Danaher. Ezard. He won't uh, get caught. He shoots at goal. It's close, but not close enough. All three for only one point. To take Essendon out of three goals, 10, 28 points. Essendon, Hawthorne, 8, 5, 53. And Harvey is limping a little bit. And the difference still uh, 24 points in favour of Hawthorne. The ball out there towards that uh, half uh, back line. The umpires, that'll be a free kick. It'll go out there to Lovelace. He's played a fine game so far, too. In a real terror. He's had 10 possessions so far. Ah, great mark to Byrne. Now Hawthorne have got the ball out there on the centre wing position. Byrne goes for the long kick, looking there for Brereton. He's put, oh, that's a good mark to Brereton. Brereton at half forward, about 55 metres out from goal. Gone for the long kick. They all fly and it's finally forced through for one point. So it's uh, 25 points the difference. Eight goals, six plays, 54 to Essendon. Three goals, 11-29. There's a pass coming out there. It'll be OK. Baker's got that one. He's been a great player today for Essendon, but Baker. You see him and are both uh, doing a good job for their sides. Short pass. It'll be OK. Oh, nearly went off the mark that time. Hawkins, the umpire, gave him the benefit of the doubt. He was off. And Hawker takes that on the centre wing position. Boots it across the centre half forward. Players set themselves. The ball off the top of the pack. Little Lizard couldn't get clear. They pounce on top of him. Deep here a minute ago goes down with the ball. That was like a rugby tackle that time. And the umpire will ball it up on the edge of the square. Free kick. He's going to give a free kick to Deep here a minute ago. Probably got it too high. Must be in the head. Running on deep here to Menico to send the ball back towards the Hawthorne half forward line. It falls a bit short. Oh, Walsh dropped one. Merritt tried to kick it off the ground. This gave Lester Smith a chance, but the umpires found a free kick uh, to the big fellow Merritt, plus a 15 metre penalty. This will bring him right up to the wing position. Well, Hawthorne looked as though they were going to run away with this game, but you've got to give Eston a lot of credit because they're really fighting back. They badly need a goal here now before uh, three uh, half time to get themselves really back in the game for the second half. Ball hits the deck. Watson couldn't pick it up. Swap gets a good hand pass. Good play by Swap as he gets it out now to Russo. Looking there for a lead. It's gone wide out towards that uh, flank going after it now as Weston. They hardly spotted him today. He gets it over to Hawker. 
The ball has finally kicked now better was little Lazard. And there we see a little uh, Ludwig grabbing it over towards uh, Russo. He's well tackled that time, and the ball is out of bounds. Just the crowd appealing for holding the ball that time, but I don't think the uh, Russo had much chance at all. Ball back into play. Merritt and Byrne. Grabbed at the back of the pack by Watson. He lost it. Hurried kick by Wallace out towards D.P. at a minute ago and Hurd. It's Hurd at the front posse. He's grabbed. Tries to get the ball back. It's finally cleared away by Hawker. Back there towards Danaher. It grabs the mark. Good play by Danaher. This fella never gives in. It doesn't matter how badly he's going in the early part of the game. He goes for a short pass. It's a bad one. Well, there's the siren to end the uh, second quarter. And... Uh, Half time of the 1984 grand final. We see Hawthorne eight goals, 654 to Western, three goals, 11.29. So we're just about set now for the third quarter. We begin the third quarter of the 1984 VFL grand final. Hawthorne leading 54 to 29. Knocked down by Madden. Picked up by Watson, swings Essen into attack. He's looking for Baker. Ears knocks the ball clear. Mew twists it further clear. Russo on to DP to Medico, who's been fairly quiet today. Now the chances for Watson. Lester Smith went the knock on, but it's picked up by Duckworth. Duckworth and turned to Williams. Williams back to Duckworth. Essen looking good. He's gone for a pass. Harvey slips over though at the crucial moment. So too does Ears. It's very slippery out there in the practice wicket area. It comes to Loveridge. Loveridge up towards centre field, and the mark is taken by Ian Payton. Peyton plays on, he looks for Brereton, finds him, the Hawthorne centre half forward, goes long, he'll try and find Matthews and he doesn't let him down. Lee Matthews, about 35 to 40 metres out from goal, should get the distance. Well, that good play starter for Mayers down there in the back pocket. We'll wait on the accuracy. I mean to aim for the right goal post, I think. Well, he's done that maybe just a little bit too much and it's through for one point. So one point to Hawthorne, opening the scoring in the second half, 8-7 to 3-11. Gary Folds. Towards the member stand side. D.P. Domenico fists the ball away, it goes to Thompson. Thompson's kick to the half-forward line. Mew is there first for Hawthorne. Pretty close to the boundary line, he does keep it in play. Hooks it back up towards centre field. Don't know whether that was well done because it's taken by Hurd. He's gone for a short pass and that's OK. It's marked by Harvey. He's had 12 possessions since he came onto the ground. And six marks. So he's done fairly well and would be one of Essendon's better players. Up towards the full forward position. Merritt, Mew. None can take it. And it goes to Russell Green. Calling for it is Schwab. Oh, missed him. That was Harvey. Back to Green. Payton, good mark. Decides to play on with the hand pass on to Wallace. He gets Collett, not downfield, says the umpire. Hawker, Hawker at halfback. Lester Smith has got him. Holding the ball, no, says the umpire. A push in the back to Eston is the decision that doesn't please Hawthorne's fans. And the free kick will be taken by Clark. He's got it over to Foles, and here go Essendon through Neagle. And Neagle goes for the long kick over the half-forward line. Danaher with a great mark. Well, even though Mews played fairly well, he's giving uh, Danaher a lot of latitude, and that could be pretty dangerous uh, from Hawthorne's point of view. Danaher from centre-half forward goes for his second goal, but he's off target. Merritt comes in. The big fella's got it. Thought it might have been over the line when he grabbed that, but the umpire said no. Looked about 10 feet over the line. It did. Merritt right on the boundary line. You watch on replay. No, I think he's out. grabbed it inside. No, he's he got it wrong? inside. I think the boundary umpire was in its perfect position to see it. Merritt. The difference, uh, 26 points. This will make the difference if he's uh, on target, 20 points. And this will give the Bombers a real chance in this grand final of 1984. He just about played on there. There he is firing at the goals. But he's up target and through for one point. So it's 25 points the difference. Ball back into play again. Oh, there's a bad kick. They all got under that one. The ball hits the deck now. Lester Smith shows a lot of dash. Streaks away from Watson. Oh, he went without the ball. He's in a bit of trouble now. But he's clear. Finally goes for a pass over the half forward line. Coming out to meet it now is Matthews. Clark there, but Matthews taps it on. Walsh comes in to grab the ball. On the boundary line, he's carted over the line. Got one too high. And will take the free kick down there in the back pocket. And the 15-metre penalty. 
No, he's not giving it. Walsh from half back. Looks for Watson. Knocked away by Ezard. Loveridge and Madden. Neagle, good use of the body. Good hip and shoulder. Socket away by Lester Smith. Up to Russo, who's grabbed when he didn't have the ball. Out of bounds. Well, there's still no big partners out there, Pete. None at all. There'll be a few tired guys tonight, I think, on both sides. Peyton and Madden. Donnell and Tuck. Out of bounds again, I think. No, it's still in play. Donnell just about throws it out. Loose ball up towards centre wing. Williams. Williams puts Essendon into attack. He's looking for Baker. Is great mark. Played a great game, Gary Ayres, had a great duel. Ayres comes in towards centre field, bad pass, picked out by Ezard. Ezard up towards full forward, oh, Merritt's got his name on it. Merritt about 35 metres out from goal, has the chance to put through Essendon's fourth goal. Umpire just whistling him around, he should definitely get the distance. Taking plenty of time with the kick. He's hooked it a little bit, I think. Almost a mark. Schwab. Williams gets overrun. He's got the ball. Tackled well by Ayres. The umpire says, not holding the ball, it'll be a ball up. The ball up about uh, 12 metres out from the Essendon goal. Just on the seven-minute mark of this third quarter. The 1984 Grand Final. McCarthy and uh, Merritt knocked out by McCarthy. Loveridge fumbled that one. Ezard with a hand pass back to Williams. Well smothered by Wallace. He was collared going three, but Williams won't give in. Ezard drives it up there towards full forward, but McCarthy's in the way to take the mark. 15, no, 15 metre penalty. Duckworth showing uh, plenty of strength down there. I don't blame Billy for that because he's trying to put a bit of life into this Essendon side as the ball comes out into the uh, half-back line for Hawthorne. Off the top of the pack, picked up nicely by Hawker. Hooks the ball back there towards the full forward position, but there's a good mark taken at defence by Swat. It'll be a free kick to Ayres. I think Merritt may have interfered there. The kick by Ayres is back towards the centre of the ground. Robertson and uh, Foles. But Foles out manoeuvres in that time and takes the mark at centre field. A short pass. And Baker's grabbed it at centre half four. Baker ready to send them deep into attack. The ball drops a bit short. Players position themselves. Duckworth got his hands. Loveridge gets a hurried kick towards the boundary line. It'll beat Harvey and it's out of bounds. About 15 metres around from the Eston goal. And they're fighting it hard to get that fourth one. 31 plays, 55 in favour of Hawthorne. Just over the eight-minute mark. Merritt tried to juggle that one. It's knocked out towards Green. He's down. Picked up here by Thompson. He's caught it. A bad hand pass. Taken away from him by uh, Russo. Runs to centre half back. Has a long kick over the half forward line. Matthews in front. Couldn't hold that mark. Tapped on that time by Foles. It's a bad one, but Judge won't pick it up. He's kicked it off the ground. He goes after the game, but Hawk is there with him now. Judge is clear, goes after the game. He was nearly tripped. The umpires butted it. And it'll be a free kick to Judge out there at half court, about 60 metres out from goal. Well called, Louis. Ken Judge to take the free kick. And uh, not much of a trip, but it certainly was there and well picked up by Lou. Well done. Clark and Matthews. Oh, Matthews spins God. out beautifully. Left foot snapshot is pretty close. He's got it. What a goal. Well, Matthews doesn't need many kicks to be damaging, does he? 9 7 61 to 3 13 31. What a play, Bob. Well, I think uh, Peter summed it up. He doesn't need many kicks. And uh, what's the replay? The blind turn, left foot, and he was completely off balance, but he uh, knew exactly where that ball was going. Three goals to Matthews, two to Robertson, the leading goal kickers for Hawthorne. Sixty-one plays thirty-one at the MCG. Harvey fumbles, but gets it to Williams nonetheless. Ball overruns uh, Mew, picked up by Ears. Ears a wild kick out towards the centre wing position. Hawker should get there first. Deep here, Domenico in hot pursuit. The ball bounces beautifully for Hawker though. Hawker, he's gone for a pass up towards half forward, looking for Danaher. Mew punches the ball well clear and out of bounds, and the boundary throw in between right half forward and right forward pocket for Essendon. Bradbury coming back on, and Thompson 
been taken off. Down the hood, does the ruck work, does it beautifully. Gets it to Harvey too. Great mark, great play. Seventh mark to Harvey. Played a great game since coming on the ground, Peter. Yes, he hasn't played many matches for Essendon, but one of the recruits of the year. I was surprised he wasn't picked in the selected site to go onto the ground at the start. Harvey directly in front, only 20 metres out from goal. Oh, gee, that's a shocking kick. It's out of bounds on the full. That's unbelievable. And Deepi Domenico off uh, with a dose of the cramp, I think, perhaps. The ball comes back into play, up towards the outer side. Russo has the run. Robertson gets there first, though. Tries to get around Folds. He'll give it to Russo. Russo on centre wing. Up to Matthews and Clark. Neagle, Williams, tries to get around Tuck. Folds gets one at the back, but over to Williams. Williams, a little chip pass up to Watson, who marks in front of Lister Smith on centre wing. Timmy Watson, one of Essendon's best players so far. He's gone for a pass, and that's OK. He's found Danaher. Running new around a lot. Danaher up to half forward. Green goes the knock away on the Schwab. Cool in the crisis. He's gone for a pass. Lead on for Hawthorne. That's his first touch of the day. Wallace. Long looking for Matthews and Clark wearing him like a glove. Knocked away by Clark. Folds is there. Robertson gives him a nudge in the back. The ball is out of bounds. It will be thrown in right forward pocket for Hawthorne. He's gone 11 and a half minutes gone. 30 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Out of bounds about 30 metres around there. We see Di Pieta Minico. The ball knocked to the ground. Clark going after. Taps it on. He could have picked that one up. But finally forced out of bounds by Robertson. But it's still deep in Hawthorne's attacking zone. The Bombers badly needing a goal. But they're going to have a chance in this grand final of 1984. Burn against Walsh. Ball hurriedly kicked that time by uh, Legal. And there's a mark taken by Williams towards the centre of the ground. Could be a 15-metre penalty. You know, the umpire said that's OK. He's calling him back now. He finally gets the kick out wide. And that's Duckworth. He dropped that one. He slipped. They pounce on top of him. He tries to get it out. Tapped on by O'Halloran. Coming in to meet it now is Watson out there on the wing position. He runs into Lester Smith, but he shrugs him up OK. A hand pass coming over to Weston. Hardly sighted him. As he goes for a short pass, it's OK. A mark there to uh, Baker. Baker looking for a lead from a big merit. The big fella couldn't hold that free kick. one in the back. No, free kick. He said uh, he was held. And the free kick will go to Merritt about uh, 35 metres out from goal. He's got him by the pants there, I would say. Now, Merritt's got a chance to put this fourth goal on the board, which certainly has been eluding uh, the Bombers for quite some time. Well within kicking distance, only on a slight angle. Yet to score a goal, the big fella. He's hit the post. Well, things are not going the Bombers' way, Bob, and uh, with that sort of luck, well, it certainly disheartens the rest of the side. 17 shots to 16 as Deep Domenico received some treatment. But uh, Essendon have had opportunities, but uh, not, just not one running their way. Three goals, 14 to 9-7. 15-metre penalty to Ayers, who's played a great game for the uh, Hawks. Knocked out that time by Lester Smith. Finally, we see the ball driven up there by Hawthorne out towards that half-forward line. Hawker picks it up right on the line, goes for a hand pass, it'll be OK. Picked up by Donnelly's grab, but he struck his opponent clear as he finally kicks the ball up there towards the half-forward line. They all go for that one, punched out by Mew. Little Lovebridge comes out of the pack. Played a great game as the ball finally goes back there towards Neagle, takes the mark. Brown's in trouble. Yeah. Brown in trouble. We see Neagle break clear. He's upended. Gets the kick up there. Ayers coming in. Danaher. What? Oh, great mark to Ayers. Better find it. Brown doesn't look the best. So the ball out wide to Wallace. It's a bit long, but it should bounce okay. Brimley juggles that one. Uh, backing up well there is Williams, but it's Wallace coming out with the ball. But down he goes. Did he get one on the back? The umpire said no as we see the ball cleared away by Bradbury. Duckworth comes in, got a touch of the fumble, but he gets it on the second go. Finally drives it up there towards the full forward position, and Baker's got it. Baker's got it dead in front. So there's the big chance to kick their fourth goal. Current on the ground and brown it up. And the 15 metre penalty has put him right on the goal line, so he couldn't possibly miss it. Not that it, uh, he wouldn't have missed it anyway. We watch again, we see why the 15 metre penalty. Uh, in, in frustration of pushing the back. Uh, Baker's uh, second goal for Essendon. He got there first of the game. 
And the scoreboard now, Essendon 4, 14, 38, Hawthorne 9, 7, 61. 15 and a half minutes gone. Eid paddles the ball forward for Judge, intercepting his Neagle. Must be 14 Essendon players there. Hawker comes out with the kick wide. Watson doesn't get the bounce over the top. Green, beautifully done to Eid. He's done well since he came on on that wing. Eid, good shepherd by Green. Eid's hand pass on to Wallace. He's in trouble, Wallace. Out the Green, shocking kick out of bounds. Well, they were messing about uh, too much, Pete. Should have gone directly at the goals, Eid, instead of trying to do that little bit too much. So boundary throw in, left forward pocket for Hawthorne. Byrne and Walsh. Knocked down to Ezard, though. Ezard clears it. Up towards half-back in front is Merritt. Over the top. Knocked away into the hands of Robertson. Robertson's gone for a hand pass to Ede. That's about four possessions this quarter for Ede. He's gone for a pass. It's a shocker. An absolute shocker. Ezard. Short pass. That one's not much better. Up towards centre wing. Well, centre field, I should say. Picked up by Duckworth. Relishing the open space. As always oh, caught. Tried to do too much with it, Billy. Merritt a fresh air shot. Duckworth again. Payton, of signs there. Robertson. Out comes Matthews. Knocked away from him. A chance for Weston. Loveridge might get there first. He does, but Folds uh, beats both of them. Folds with a left footer out towards centre wing, trying to find Donnell, and he does. Donnell on the move. Away he goes. He'll go for a run. Matthews in pursuit. So too is Byrne. Harvey comes in for the shepherd. Crashes Byrne to the ground. Gets his kick in. Up towards the forward pocket. Off the hands of Byrne. Hawker. Grab ridden into the ground and the umpire says it will be a ball up Stephen Phillips has some news for us downstairs thank you Peter uh, Bertie Dippy a Domenico Cramp he's right and Dermot Burton got a knock on the knee he should be right to go on they're both limbering up on the boundary and both look pretty good ball up Essendon full forward zone kicked away by Schwab Heard misses it chance for Reed. in goes Watson tries to beat both of them and we'll see another ball up about uh, 25 metres out from the Essendon goal. And we're just over the 18-minute mark. 23 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. But the Bombers plugging away. The ball hits the deck, knocked on by Ede. It goes over now to uh, Wallace. Wallace's kick is not a good one. It, it goes straight on the hands this time of Hawk, and he goes up like a racehorse. Short pass, it'll be OK. Oh, he nearly lost it, Van der Haar. But he's got it, doesn't waste any time. He quickly plays on. There's two of them down there. It'll be a mark and a free kick to Duckworth. Well, Duckworth certainly uh, live enough uh, play for Hawk, uh, for Eston down there in attack. And what's on replay and a good mark. As Lou, as Lou called, it would have been a free kick anyway. Yes. There's the kick by Duckworth, going for goal number two, and he's done it. So the Bombers are coming back now. It's nine goals, 7.61 Hawthorne to Western, five goals, 14.44. Well, the difference, 17 points. He wants Duckworth take that mark. He certainly put a bit of life into their attack. Brewerton to full forward. Brewerton to full forward, as Peter said. He went off the ground with a knock on the knee, but he seems to be OK now. Well, the uh, Hawks are really put to the test now, and the crowd really coming alive. The grand final of 1984. Can the Bombers win their grand final? Burn and Merritt clash. The ball is forced out. Heard going and kicked off the ground that time by Mew. Grabbed by Judge. He's grabbed, but he gets clear. Hand pass coming over to Lester Smith. Now Hawthorne going to attack to Matthews and Clark. Matthews got one hand to it. It's still in play. Picked up now by Curran. Tapped through by Clark. Good play. He played it safe. And it's a point to... Uh, Hawthorne. So it's 18 points the difference. Waiting on Foles. He's gone for a short pass. It'll be OK and marked down there by Hawker. It's a good pass too and the ball grabbed here by Bradbury. Be a 15 metre penalty against Hawthorne I should imagine. Robertson grabbing Bradbury. Empire calling him back right up to that half back line. Well, the Bombers are looking a lot more confident. Bradbury drives the ball around. They're looking for Danaher. The ball is punched out. Grabbed by Green. The kick is... Oh, it's a bad kick marked by Bradbury. Things are starting to fall into place for rest. There's where he is again. Duckworth, he's been the danger player. He was off too. Yep. He certainly <laughs> livened things up there, this Tuffy. And Duckworth's gone for the long kick, looking for Vanderhaar. The back of the pack, Danaher's there. Off the top of the pack. 
In comes Vanderhaar, down he goes. Wallace is there also, he's grabbed, he can't get clear. And the umpire will ball it up about 35 metres out uh, from the Essendon goal. And they're trailing by 18 points. But they're trying to get back on top and they're showing a lot of spirit at the moment. Now this is a tough grand final. Ball knocked out by McCarthy, punched on again towards centre half forward. Merritt juggles the ball, got one on the back from uh, Byrne. Finally, it's grabbed by Neagle. He loses it. Merritt tries to crash through the pack. Gets a hand pass out to Donnell. It's high in the air, up towards the full forward position. Danaher comes in. The ball tapped out again. Has a go for Reed. Taps the ball on. Smothered that time by Hurd. Again, Hurd, Hurd and uh, Eid going after it. Beats them both. And the ball is out of bounds. Still on the after and half forward line. About 75 metres around from the goal. 18 points the difference. Can the Bombers get in front of this quarter? Boundary throw in. In front is Mew, down to Green it comes. Green hooks it back towards centre wing, over the boundary line, so not much going right for Hawthorne at the moment. Looking a little bit, I wouldn't say dispirited, but probably rattled more than anything, as Essendon really applied the pressure. Williams has the free kick on centre wing. Looking for Vanderhaar. Down to Hurd, he's caught. So too is Baker. Neagle on the boundary line. Good hip and shoulder puts him over the line. It will be another boundary throw in. Watch again on the replay as uh, Neagle is trying to gain possession. He coming across. Mm -hmm. Once you get out of bounds, this time a little bit further around to towards the centre wing position. Neagle seems to be okay. Looks pretty tough. Knocked down by Lester Smith. Straight to uh, Folds. Crashes his way through. Good smother, though. Scooped out by Hurd. There's Neagle. Harvey caught. Wallace at the point of the square on the judge. He's been fairly quiet today. Judge at centre field. Hot in pursuit is Duckworth. That man's everywhere. He gets his kick in, though. Judge up towards full forward. Brad is marked. Well, I said he'd been moved to full forward because of the knee injury. And that was... A great mark. There wasn't much that Kevin Walsh could do about that. Well, it swung away from Walsh, and any chance Walsh had a punch in the way, I think the, the win could pay to. Brewerton, 20 metres out, has put it through for a goal and a badly needed one for Hawthorne. Brewerton second, Hawthorne 10 8, 68, and Essendon 5 14 44. At 25 points was the margin at half time. Uh, so, with uh, most of the play in this quarter, Essendon have gained one point. Well, taking some time to get back to the centre. 68 to 44 in favour of Hawthorne. We've been playing 24 and a half minutes in the third quarter, so about 30 seconds from time on. Byrne to contest with Merritt. It's won by the Essendon player, picked up by Watson. Watson's kicked to half forward. Almost a mark, yes, to Baker. Not a very good game. He has, as he has done right throughout the finals. Six marks and 16 possessions to Baker. He's gone for a pass. Van der Haar took off the four nominations. And there will be a ball up left forward pocket for Essendon. And uh, we're into the, uh, just on the 25 minute mark of this, the third quarter. 24 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Knocked out that time by McCarthy. Duckworth trying to crash through the pack, but they pull him to the ground. I'll tell you what, it might have been a free kick against him, but you've got to give him a lot of credit, Bob. He has a go, this fella, doesn't he? He certainly does, Lou. I love him. I like those sort of players that have a go. The ball back out there towards the big fella. Burn, he takes the mark out there in front of Merritt, out there at half-back. They're 24 points in front, as Bob Scooton said before. Eston only picking up a point this quarter so far. The kick by Burn is a long one over the half oh. ball, but not a good one. Goes straight in the hands of uh, Neagle. He doesn't waste any time. He quickly drives the ball back. Has that off and Thompson on. Swab and Byrne messed each other up. Williams has tackled. Finally picked up by the blonde headed half as he fires the ball up towards the full forward position. Punched out by Ayers. Backing up is Roberts and that kick is smothered. And they go in pretty hard both sides and the umpire will ball it up about uh, 20 metres out from the Essendon goal. And they're trailing by 24 points into this quarter by 26 minutes. Well, oh, this has been a ding-dong struggle. A real tough match. Ball knocked out by McCarthy. This could be a goal to Baker. 
Oh, gee, doesn't this is coming around and up. Not enough, and it's a point. So it's 23 points the difference. By Gully the Vet, plenty of chances, Essendon. 10 8, 68, Hawthorne, Western 5, 15, 45. Waiting for the ball to come back into play again. Kicked out towards that uh, half back line on the outer side of the ground. Punched on by Byrne. Grabbed here this time by Mew. A hand pass coming over to Wallace. Wallace goes for a pass. Weston couldn't pick it up. It's finally picked up by Little Thompson. Tries to give a hand pass to Hawke. It's a bad one. He's in trouble. He spins. He's grabbed by Judge. But he finally gets the ball out there to Weston. Back it goes to Williams. Over it goes to Thompson to Hurd. Smothered again. They were messing about. A hand pass comes out now for me. Uh, back to Russo, back to Green, and Green with a left footer drives it up to that half forward line. Hawke got the, no, he didn't get the good run. Down goes Judge, coming after it now is Clark. Well tackled that time by Cowan. This gives Matthews a chance. Matthews scoots around the pack, drives it over there to Judge at the back. Two Hawthorne players spoil each other, but Judge tackles Merritt. It's going towards the goals. He sent it in the back. <laughs> so I don't know about that one, Bob. I don't agree with that one. Oh. We'll watch on replay now as he gets it, and certainly not in the back. Ball drops short. Heard getting away from Tuck, who's been a pretty quiet player since the first quarter. Hand pass coming over to Weston. Weston at centre half back shoots the ball back towards the centre of the ground. And there's the man of the moment for Weston Baker doing a great job. He's got the mark at centre field. Drives the ball over the half forward line, looking for Vanderhaar. Punched away that time by uh, O'Halloran. Vanderhaar goes down. This gives O'Halloran the run of the ball. A hand pass to Russo. Good play. As the ball is finally kicked around there, it's smothered actually, it's a bad kick by Russo. He comes out of the pack, he was actually grabbed by the leg, he, the umpire right. said he threw it. Thought it might have been a free kick to him earlier, there's no doubt he was grabbed by the leg as he was trying to get through, and that's Van Hart taking the kick. Gone for a short pass, Baker again, he's everywhere. There's the siren for three-quarter time, will he have a shot? Well, he could nearly kick this, Pete. Yes, he's a good kick. I don't know whether he's that good. He's not. No, that's no score. And so at three-quarter time, it will be Hawthorne 10 8, 68, leading Essendon by 15 45. The final quarter of the 1984 VFL Grand Final at the MCG as umpire Glenn James comes in to bounce the ball. Hawthorne leading 68 to 45, only 23 points, anybody's match. Byrne and Madden, knocked down by the Essendon player, picked up by Williams, Essendon swing into attack, they want a goal quickly, in front is O'Halloran, this is their goal, Baker puts it through, that's what they wanted, and we've got a game on our hands again, three goals to Baker, and the scoreboard, 10-8-68 to 6-15, 51. And the loose ball comes down, and a superb shot at goal by Leon Baker. The goal took only 30 seconds. 17 points the difference now. That's the closest Essendon have been since the first quarter. Madden and Byrne, again won by Madden. Watson looking for a free kick and he'll get one. The advantage rule called. It goes out to Thompson. Bradbury on his own. He's 10 metres in front of uh, Gary Ayres. Looks for the hand pass. On to Hurd. Hurd puts Essendon deep into attack again. Duckworth in the middle. Has it punched away from him. Here's Harvey. He's caught with the ball. No, says the umpire. It's held to him. And the ball-up will take place at full forward for Essendon. What a game. Can Essendon pull it out of the fire? Can Hawthorne hang on? Hawthorne started off brilliantly. Essendon have slowly worn them down. Knocked down by Van der Haar, but he hit it straight to Russell Green. Madden and Byrne could be on the shoulder for the Essendon player. It's a free kick to Hawthorne. Oh, didn't see that one. What was to take it? Wallace goes straight down the ground. He's trying to find Curran, who can't take the mark. Two Essendon players have the run. Neagle, centre wing. Essendon have decided, OK, we go for broke, and that's just what they're doing. Up towards full forward again. Oh, Bradbury, here's the goal! It's only a few points in it. Oh, those two goals came up in two minutes. Bradbury putting through the goal. Is it Essendon's year? 68 to 57. Set of bounds, 11 points the difference. Can the Bombers do it? Madden's taken over the ruck. He rested on the bench in that third quarter. It may have paid dividends. A bit of fumbling going on. Madden's got the ball now. He juggles it, gets a hurried kick. Back it goes, picked up here by Williams. Well tackled by Wallace. Swab goes after. He's grabbed a hand pass. 
out to Brereton. But it'll be a free kick to uh, Swan in the back. Oh, he's called play on as Ayers drives it over the half forward line. Oh, great mark to Curran. Yes, a mark. And he's about 45 metres out. There it is on its way. It's a long kick off target. Doesn't make the distance. Madden. Well, they had him on the bench for one quarter. And he's really coming to the game this last one. Might have been a plan of Sheedy's. Curran in front. Another mark to Curran. This time he's about 55 metres out. Drives the ball deep into the goal square, then into the forward pocket. Robertson goes, couldn't hold the mark, and the ball is out of bounds. Only about 10 metres around uh, from that uh, Hawthorne goal. 11 points the difference into this last quarter of the 1984 grand final by about four minutes. Ball back into play again. Knocked out by Madden, tries to find Clark, he does so, but he fumbles. Now it's a chance for Tucky trying to kick it over his head. Not the percentage kick, Walsh is there. Out of bounds again. Now it's still in play. Walsh paddling it further forward, thought that went out. Chance for Curran. Danaher dived into his back. Thompson comes out with the ball. You'll see a ball up. Eastman working it around the boundary line. Is it the year of the bomber? Can Hawthorne hang on? Danaher gets caught. Walsh. Watson caught. Free kick to Walsh. Walsh at left half back takes the free kick. He's gone wide. Bradbury looking for a free kick, an Academy Award performance. Picked up by Hurd, who's played a great game for Essendon. Shoots it out to Hawker. Hawker's gone for a pass. Oh, Weston on his own. Sheedy's moves are coming off. Weston at right half forward. Essendon finishing all over Hawthorne. He's got two of his main defenders down there on the forward line, Duckworth and Weston. Pete. It's working though, Lou. Mammoth kick by Weston, but it's uh, off target. And out of bounds on the foot, it will be a free kick to Russell Green. Green at left back pocket. Hawthorne yet to score in this final quarter. Estnett have kicked two goals. Now it's a Hawthorne mark. I'm not quite sure to whom. Is it Mew or over? Yes, he's playing Mew. Mew at left half back. Up the centre wing. Walsh. Punches it well clear, opens it up there for Hurd, can't trap it, in goes E, Loveridge is caught by Hurd. Oh, beautifully done, Essendon, here's Watson at half forward, he'll go for a run, no, it's a pass, it's a gem, it's Duckworth. <laughs> Billy Duckworth. He's played on. Thompson, Hawthorne in complete disarray at the moment. And Thompson has a chance to make the difference, five points. Thompson from about uh, 30 metres out, if that... And if this little fella needs to kick a goal, this is the one to kick. Comes in, straightens in the one. And there it is, a goal. Five points the difference. Oh, what a grand final. 10-8-68, Hawthorne, Western 8-15-63. And a lovely kick under the pressure that uh, he's under out there at the present moment. And anybody's game now. Five points the difference, and the bomber's full of running. Set about five points the difference. Can the Bombers go on with it? Byrne tries to come into the pack. It's Williams setting the Bombers back into attack. Up it goes there. Baker taps the ball on. Oh, beautiful play. Goes for a goal. And I think they've hit the front. Yes, they've hit front. A point in front. That's four goals for Baker. Four goals in eight minutes. Ten goals, 8.68 Hawthorne. To Western, 9.15.69. What a game this is. What a wonderful comeback. As we see it again on replay. The fourth goal to Leon Baker. A beautiful blind turn and straightens up and no mistake about that one. Into this quarter by eight and a half minutes. The centre bounce. The Bombers in front by a point. Can they hang on or do even better and win this grand final today as Robertson gives a hand pass over to McCarthy. Now it's Hawthorne's turn to go back into attack. Down there towards Ludwig. The little fella's got it. There's a chance now for Hawthorne to get the lead back again. He's about 60 metres out from goal. It's a good kick into the forward pocket. Play the ball. Curran flew high. Couldn't hold the mark. A hand pass from Clark over to Russell. That kick smothered. Back it goes again. He, each kick is not a good one. It's a bad one. The ball punched on by Donnell over to Williams. Finally back there to Hurd. Out to Watson. They're looking good, Essendon. Out there at half four, it's a long kick. A chance for McCarthy to mark out there on the wing position. A hand pass to Lovridge. 
Lovebridge kicks a high one up towards the forward uh, pocket position. Matthews flies, punched out by Donnell. There's a go for Madden, he went down. But backing up was Neagle, gets the ball back to Madden. A fumble, finally picked up by Bowles. It's a high kick out wide. Oh, Mark dropped by Swab, it was a difficult one. Finally grabbed here now by Weston. The umpire said, hold the man, he'll get the free kick. He's made some great moves here today. Shoot, he's got Weston at centre half forward and Duckworth been a success down there around about the full forward position. The kick by Weston. Is that better word? Duckworth, there's the man I was talking about. Oh, he's been a star down there since going into attack. Goes for the long kick towards the goals. Mad at the back. And it's fourth through for one point, so it's two points for difference. Into this quarter by ten minutes. It's ten goals, eight, 68 Hawthorne. To Esther, nine goals, 16, 70. Lester Smith up and deep here to Minico on. Ball will be brought back. And the of Hawthorne needed Birdie to fire it right now because Essendon will win the Premiership. The way they're going, Hawthorne looking very flat-footed at the moment. Well, there's only two points. I think this Bob can lift their game, Hawthorne. They need to, Lou. O'Halloran. Burn. Wallace. Wallace short to half forward. Loveridge. Bad hand pass. Chance for Reed. Gets ridden into the ground. Hawker trying to burrow out. He's held it for a minute. And it will be a ball up at half forward for Hawthorne. 68 plays 70 in favour of Essendon. And remember that Hawthorne had six goals on the board by quarter time and they've only kicked another four. So Essendon really have nailed them right to the ground since then. Madden knocks it out to Judge though. Brereton caught too high, was it, says the umpire. I think so. Now holding the ball. Well, everything falling into place for Essendon now. I think he might have been grabbed too high that time, Pete. We'll watch again on replay as we see Brereton. Gaines possession. And uh, well, I think he was tackled too high. Hawker with the free kick at half back for Essendon. Hawker bobs it high towards centre field. Oh, how easy is this? Weston. Long, Vanderhaar, name on it. Hawthorne looking very flat-footed at the moment. Well, there's certainly been great moves of placing Western centre-half forward and Duckworth down there on the full forward position, Pete. Vanderhaar, touch to put Essendon at eight points in front. He won't with that kick, or will he? Close, touched through, I think, for a point. Yes, it is, they're three points in front. So 10-9-69, or 10-8-68 to 9-17-71. Chris Mew, Hawthorne looking uh, tired and disorganised at the moment. Watson, goals, does he know on the run? It's one point, so four points in front, Essendon. Doing all the scoring, they've kicked four goals, three this quarter. Hawthorne have yet to score. Twelve and a half minutes gone. The Bombers in front by four points. The ball out towards the half-back line. Hurd and Deep Pieta Manigo. Hurd goes down. Picked up by Williams. Well tackled by Deep Pieta Manigo. It's Walsh driving the ball back towards the wing position. In front as well. That's a good mark in front of Barrett. Could be a 15-metre penalty. And that's what the Bombers want. 68 plays. 72 in favour of the Bombers. A short pass. It's a good one. And Madden's got it. Loose players everywhere now. Yeah, that's right, uh, Bobby. He's at centre half forward, about 55 metres out from goal. Gone for a short pass. Down goes Weston. They grab him. They pile on top. It comes out now. A chance for Bradbury. He's got players all over the place. They've been shifted everywhere. Weston's paying dividends. Down goes Green. They pounce on him. Ayers gets a hurried kick out wide to Russo. Out there at half back. Another hand pass to Weed under pressure. Finally, it goes out to Judgment. A very quiet play today. Judge straightens up and shoots the ball down to the half-forward line. Curran gets into position, punched away by Danaher, playing at centre-half back. Oh, Walsh got one from uh, DP and a minute ago. Caught him right on the point of the chin. The umpire going across to take his number. Oh, he's aimed him out like a tack. I watch it again on replay. Right on the point of the chin. Chin, I should say. Once again, we see it on replay. Thank you. Uh, Umpire's got him this time. He's not him about that. He's got the book out, umpire James. Fast as book in the West. Well, that's his nickname, Jesse James. So there'll be a couple of players up on uh, Monday night. Yeah, it looked as though Simon Matt went in the first quarter. 
official attendance today, 92,685. So that would mean it's the smallest grand final attendance for many years. I'm not quite sure how many, but it's usually gone over the 100 mark. It was a sellout peak, but I think, as you mentioned, the, uh, one of the VFL, uh, or VFL Park members uh, didn't make it here today. Yes, that'll be pretty right, I think, Luke. Well, it looks as though he's in a bad way, young boss. That's a bit of bad luck because he's played a very solid game there. Let's hope he's OK. D.P. Domenico is still talking to umpire James, but it's too late now. The number's been taken. Let's watch the shot again on replay. He's on at the point of the chip, Bob, I'd reckon. Looking through the records, it is the lowest grand final crowd since 1957. Well, it's four points, the difference. And there's a bit of bad luck for young Welsh. And uh, Kevin Shooty's had a tremendous amount of faith in this fellow. He was criticised for playing in the early part of the year, but the kid certainly proved his point, or proved Shooty's point, because he's been a fine player at centre half back from about halfway through the season. Certainly bad luck for him, Bob. Well, so, uh, he was playing well in this term. Uh, in fact, the whole Essendon side have lifted, and uh, the moves that Kevin Sheedy has made, have made so far have really come off. Duckworth to the forward line, Vanderhaar back out there on the ground, and Weston down onto the forward line. Danaher at centre half back, it's, uh, he's moved them all over the place, and of course, that's typical of Sheedy. He's played in grand finals, he'll take a chance. He doesn't sit back there and wait for things to happen. He makes them happen, Pete. Well, he didn't get permission for Merritt to come on, but Merritt will be the replacement player. You can see him in the corner there, standing, waiting for the stretcher to reach the boundary line. There'll be a lot of time on in this quarter because of that incident. Essendon leading. Let's check the scores. 68 to 72, four points in favour of Essendon. And the Essendon strongman, Roger Merritt, comes back on. The game might sort of liven up now. With Essendon going right away from Hawthorne in this quarter. Now play will continue with a free kick to Essendon. It will be taken at right half back. Heard has the kick. Walsh seems OK, according to Stephen Phillips on the boundary line. Now play continues. Heard. Up towards centre wing. Mark taken by Schwab. Hawthorne trail by four points. They haven't scored in this final quarter. Down to Curran, and that's a good mark to Curran. He's a long way from goal. And that's a 15-metre penalty. That's silly because he was within kicking distance, and he now is. Well, that was Philby's play on the part of Essendon because they've got them on the run and they've got them a bit rattled. That will give them a bit of heart, Pete. If he kicks this goal now, anything certainly, could happen. Certainly need it. Hawthorne's first score of the quarter, if it's any sort of score. Curran from 40 metres out. Rain starting to fall again here at the MCG. Curran shoots at goal. Hawthorne are back in front. And so the scoreboard here at the cricket ground... 11-8-74, Hawthorne, Essendon, 9-18-62. 18 minutes have gone, but there'll be at least five minutes of time on. Well, it's um, two fine pressure kicks by young players. First of all, it was Thompson, and now it's Curran. So uh, you couldn't get any more pressure on those two youngsters than uh, those two goals that they've just kicked. Free, Free kick, kick to the centre square. It will be going to Hawthorne's Colin Robertson. Now it's going to Burr. Burn up towards full forward. Brereton claims the mark. No mark to either team there. Matthews shoots it out of the pack. There's no one there for Hawthorne. Thompson snares it well for Essendon. He's gone for a pass to Watson, who takes the mark. Good mark to Watson. Two points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Judson uh, Thompson having a bit of a wrestle there. Short pass. It's marked by Hurd. Hurd drives the ball over the half forward line. And there's a mark to Weston. By golly, he's played a great game at centre-half for this guy. This is really lifted, Lou. He lifted his game. Two points the difference. Can the Bombers come back again? It's a high one into the goal square. Vanderhaas there. Got one hand to it. Now it's a point the difference. Oh, my God, I hope they don't make it a draw. People have to come back next week. But still, it's worth it to see this sort of football, isn't it? If it's a draw, I hope it's warm next week, Lou. <laughs> Short pass. Is it dangerous? No, it's marked here by Green. A point the difference. And uh, rain starting to pelt down. 
Ball out there towards the wing position. Flying high with Zabrera and a good mark. They've got Duckworth down at centre half back now. Kick is out wide towards Matthews and Clark. Matthews gave Clark a bit of a heave out. Coming in to meet it now is Hawker down there in the back pocket. Takes a bit of a streak right across the goals. I wonder if he'll kick it out wide. This could be a chance for Di Pieta Menigo, but he played it safe and went for the boundary line. Oh, that's dangerous play when you run across those goals. He took a risk, but uh, I think he may have had to in that case because he couldn't go back into play. 74 plays 73 as Russo picks up the ball. It'll fall short, the mark taken there by Clark. He goes across goal. Coming out to meet it is Neagle. After Neagle is uh, E. He's got to pick this one up. That's going across goal. He's gone wide. He's put it out of bounds. Oh, I wouldn't go across goal like that if I was Nobby Clark. Goes for a short pass. Matthews in front couldn't hold that. Good play by Clark, and the ball is out of bounds. This is a great grand final. One of the best we've seen for a long time. At the, just on the 21-minute mark, and it's a point the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Can they hang in there and win this one again? They're second in a row. The ball hits the deck. Pushed out that time again by Hawker, and it's about 60 metres around from the Hawthorne goal. 21 minutes gone. So I think this quarter will go about uh, 34 minutes, Pete. I would say it'd go at least that, Lou. Madden in front, loses out to Brereton, picked up by Loveridge. His kick is a high one, doesn't travel much distance. Matthews has it knocked away, picked up by Robertson. He gets sprayed and gets rid of the ball. Paddled further forward by Thompson on to Harvey. Essendon doing it well out of defence. Harvey up towards centre wing. Finds Watson on the run. Watson plays on. He's gone for a pass to left half forward. Mew and Danaher. It's a wrestle. Free kick to Essendon. They're getting everything now. There's Watson. Uh, Weston. Vanderhaar. Yes, the mark. He'll be within kicking distance. He's on a pretty fair angle and the umpire bringing him further around. But he should get the distance without any trouble at all. Van der Haar. Kick is an awkward looking one. Is that a Mark Lorestenden or a Hawthorne mark? Merritt. Merritt's got it. That was a great mark. Watch it on replay, and that was a really yes. strong mark. Great mark. He came on to replace Walsh, of course, so Merritt would have to fall over to miss it. He's on the goal line, so it will be his first goal of the day. And Essendon lead by five points. So the scoreboard, Essendon, 10 goals, 19-79, Hawthorne, 11-8, 74. It's a lovely mark by Merritt. A good kick by Van der Haar, put it right into the squares. We watch Van der Haar's mark on replay. Now the kick, swinging back right onto the goal line, and a lovely mark for Roger Merritt. Twenty-two and three-quarter minutes gone in the final term. Essendon playing all over Hawthorne. Burn and Madden bumps it down. Picked up by Williams, but the umpire had blown the whistle for a ball up. And umpire saw us to bounce it only a few metres wide of the centre circle. Essendon in line now for their first premiership since 1965. So Alan Jeans, it looks as though, could be on the receiving end again. With a bomb of victory in a premiership match. He coached St Kilda then, of course. Picked up by Hawker. Mew. McCarthy. On to Russo. Russo finding at centre wing Peter Swab, who decides to go for a run. Hawthorne not throwing in the towel. Hawk, uh, Swab long up to Matthews. Fisted away by the Essendon defence to Deepi and Domenico. He nearly cooked another one there. Up to the 10 metre square. And there's that Duckworth fellow again. He's played a great game, Billy Duckworth. Certainly has, Peter. He's been a real hero, this tuppy, as the ball goes out there towards that half-back line. There he is. On, oh, he's dropped an easy one, Bradbury. But he's left unattended as he drives the ball out there towards the wing position. Merritt got into the back of McCarthy. He recovers well, goes for hand pass to the blonde-headed Harvey. A kick up there towards the full forward position. Vanderhaar knocked on. There's a go now for Weston. He's put it through for a goal. What a match winner this guy's been at centre half forward. This premiership is Sheedy's premiership with these tremendous moves he's made, Bob. Yes, he's been prepared to take a gamble. And uh, the way that Hawthorne have uh, really crumbled in this last quarter, uh, they have looked tired. And it's, uh, maybe the game 
the, the rest a couple of weeks back and then the game last week was good for us and as on replay we see Weston's goal and he certainly has responded. Essendon too good, going right away from Hawthorne in this final term. They've kicked six goals so far, Hawthorne have added one. 11 points the difference. And the Hawks come back. Bit of fumbling goes on as the ball is finally driven up towards their centre-half forward line. Tapped on by Merritt, they're full of running. There's Weston again with a hand pass, coming over to Watson. This could be another goal, it is. Oh, they're killing him. And Essendon looked like winning their first premier since 1965. 11 goals, 874 Hawthorne to Westman. 12 goals, 19, 91. What a performance by Essendon. But full mark to their coach. He switched players all over the ground this quarter. And this fella's been a real match with a Westman at centre half forward. And not forgetting Duckworth and of course Baker playing so well in those first three quarters and Timmy Watson all over the place. 74 plays, 91. The ball knocked out that time by Merritt. Uh, by uh, Smadden. Back to Merritt. Out to Harvey. And this fellow hasn't played a bad game either. Out it goes. Muse plays the ball in front of him. They're really trailing now. Hawthorne as the ball goes out to the wing position. DP at a minute ago. Getting the raspberry from the crowd. Got it too high. It's dropping the ball, the umpire said. Well, I thought it was too high to Bertie Di Pietro Manigay that time, but uh, certainly hasn't been his day today. He's been off the ground with the cramps, he's been reported, and that free kick going against him. This fellow's done a pretty good job today, too young her. The ball driven up there towards the full forward position. Punched out by the Hawthorne defence, Timmy Watson to Harvey, and the blonde half forward fires at the goals again. Will it come around and up? Now it's one point. So the scoreboard. And the Bombers really looking good to win their first premiership since 1965. 11 8, 74 Hawthorne to Western, 11, 12 goals, 20. And their score is 92. Donnell knocks it under Merritt or trying to find Merritt, but Watson's there instead. They're running right away. There's another one if he's accurate. I think he's dobbed it. It's Essendon's flag. No doubt about it. Essendon winning their first flag since 1965, 74 to 98, a difference of 24 points in favour of Essendon, and Hawthorne won't be winning back-to-back -back flags. 24 possessions to Timmy Watson, and Hawthorne really looking the tired side, though, aren't they? Certainly tired now, but full marks to uh, Essendon. They've plugged away all day. But I still reckon the, the premiership they should... Uh, Frame the cup or give the cup to Kevin Sheeter because he's made some great moves here today. 74 to 98. So sweet revenge for Essendon. Not an annihilation, certainly. And uh, Ian Payton has a headlock on Simon Madden. Those two were involved in a bit of a scuffle earlier in the day in which numbers appeared to be taken. And this time, uh, nothing eventuating. It's a ball up at centre field. Strange old bat, it's a favourite swap. When he had his head pulled up, the umpire calls play on. And uh, Brereton and Duckworth also having a slight disagreement. Duckworth pointing to the scoreboard. He's had a lot to do with this premiership today, too, Duckworth. Yes, he's played a very good game, hasn't he? Lewis so is Watson. Payton, knocked away from him. Oh, Bradbury threads his way through the pack and gets it right up towards fourth forward. Out of bounds, eluding Van der Hart. Well, he's going around the boundary line now to keep the patrons away. It's a bad sign for Hawthorne, too, Pete, trailing. Well, they're not going to win it now from the 28-minute mark, Lou. Kevin Walsh coming back. He's going to enjoy the celebrations. And why shouldn't he? He's not going to premiership every day of the week. And Gary Ears to take the free kick for Hawthorne. And that's going to be McCarthy. McCarthy from right back pocket. In front is Payton, Russo, DP Domenico. Down goes Watson. The ball paddled out to Russo. Kick is a high one. Doesn't travel much distance at all. Knocked away by Wallace. Picked up by Gary Folds. Folds back towards the point of the square. Weston's there. Bradbury charges his way through. Shoots it up to full forward. There's no one there though for Essendon. It won't matter. It's a goal, I think. No touched on the line by Eves. And so at the 29 and a half minute mark, only the formalities remain. He just got that too, didn't he? It bounced high enough for him to touch it as the ball comes back into play. Payton. 25 points the difference in favour of the Bombers. A hand pass coming out better the half-back line. Lovridge drives it up to their half-forward line. 
Grill in front, couldn't hold by Mallet. Finally picked up by Donnell. The ball back towards the centre of the ground. Big Merritt comes in and takes the mark at centre field. A hand pass coming over to Thompson. Well, they have looked really good in this last quarter. Bradbury taking the mark. They've got three of their defenders, or they had three of their defenders down there on the forward line. It certainly paid dividends. Duckworth's gone to the full the back position now. The ball punched out by O'Halloran. Ayers gets a hurried kick. He's played a great game too, but he's dying. The big fella, Merritt, over to Hurd. The ball up towards the full forward position, but there's Ayers again. Boots the ball back, but there's no one out there for Hawthorne, and Thompson takes an easy mark. 25 points the difference, and the Bombers have the Premiership in the bag. That was too long for Van der Haar. Grabbed by O'Halloran, too slow, well tackled by Van der Haar. They're the fitter side at the moment, they're full of running, Hawthorne, as the ball comes back there to McCarthy, but the umpire's got a ball, and he's paid a free kick to O'Halloran. Back to Mew. But Hawthorne just going through the motions up to this stage of the match now. Duckworth again, punches the ball away, he, set, he got it to Wallace's shoulder and he takes the free kick at centre, half, uh, centre field for uh, Hawthorne. Brown goes for a one-hander, that's a good mark. We're at the, uh, just on the 31-minute mark, as we see Brown drive the ball into the goal square. Coming across that time was Danaher and finally forces the ball through for one point. So it's 11 goals, 9.75, Hawthorne Western 13, 21.99, a difference of 24 points. And this has been a great feather in the cap to Kevin Sheedy because he made the moves, he rested Watson in that third quarter, and not Watson, Madden, he came out and dominated the ruck, moved the Western to centre half forward, Duckworth was down there on the full forward with that flag, and he certainly lifted that uh, department. And they put Danaher to centre half back, and all these moves have paid off, and they're full of running now, and They've got the uh, Hawks beaten to a frazzle, I would say. And winning, it looks as though for sure they're going to win their first premiership since 1965. The free kick going out there to uh, Payton. Payton goes for the long kick to the goal square. Matthews swamped that time, but he's got, got the mark. I don't know about this guy, he'll never give up. Matthews only about uh, 15 metres out, already kicked three goals, going for goal number four. Pretty difficult angle. The kick on its way. And what's he done with it? It's a goal. Well done, uh, Matthews. Well, Hawthorne comes six points closer, but really of academic interest only. 81 plays 99. 17. Well, it's got its uh, 18 points in favour of Essendon. Three goals. Probably be a couple of minutes left for play, but Essendon well and truly with the premiership in their keeping after their onslaught in the final term. They really took the game right up to Hawthorne. 99 to 81 in favour of Essendon. The siren due to go any tick of the clock knocked down by Merritt. Green on centre wing. Streaming forward. Green's kick is a long one, trying to find Matthews. In front is Brereton. Danaher. Donnell. Donnell at left half-back flank. He's gone for a pass up the centre wing. This guy's played well since he came back on to Bradbury. Russo in pursuit, Bradbury looking for Big Madden, and he's got him though, didn't hold it long enough, said the umpire. Schwab tries to paddle it out, and it will be a boundary throw in left forward pocket for Essendon. 33 minutes gone, and we'll say about a minute left for play. McCarthy and Madden, knocked down to Tuck, couldn't handle it. It's been fairly quiet today too, Thompson can't get clear. Spooned out to Ludwigs. He's certainly tried for Hawthorne. Eid. Eid's kick is a short one up towards the centre half forward position for the Hawks. Matthews couldn't take it. Plenty of Essendon defenders are there. Wallace over runs the ball. Duckworth, Donnell, and Hawthorne combining okay. Hawthorne from the point of the square has gone for a pass, and that's beautifully delivered. Right down the throat of Merv Neagle. Eid in pursuit. Neagle gets his kick in long oh, and high to the goal this. square, and look at that. That really is the sealer if ever there needed to be one. Great play, Essendon. 14-21, 105 to 12-9, 81. Essendon clearly the premier side in 1984. 24 points the difference. We watch that in replay. This is a magnificent goal kick by an eagle. Got a paddock to run in. Let's fly. And he's a great kick when he's in form. And that's a magnificent goal. Alan Jeans, Normie Goss and Brian Coleman looking understandably pretty happy. Not to detect any difference on the Essendon bench, but Kevin Sheedy and Brian O'Donoghue Obviously knowing that they have the flag in their keeping. 
81 plays 105. And the Bombers have kicked nine goals, six this quarter as Tuck drives Hawthorne back into attack, knocked on by Brereton. Pushed out by Wallace, still goes after. They won't give in Hawthorne, still fighting it out. Full mark to them as the ball goes down there, but a mark to Danaher. Into this quarter by just on 35 minutes, there's the siren. Essendon winning their first flag since 1965, and the final scores, Essendon 14-21, 105 to 12-9-81. Full marks to Essendon, a great performance, but all the plays would uh, have to go to their coach. And there they are, there's, each, there's the coach of Essendon, Kevin Sheedy, receiving congratulations from all around. But what a performance, he shifted players all over the place, put Weston to centre-half back, what an uh, effort he did. Alan James, the losing coach, looking very sad. said before you've got to say that uh, you've got to say that uh, Sheedy made some great moves he never panicked Pete he put West in the centre half forward when they were having a bit of trouble in the early part they had him uh, he put Duckworth down to the forward line with Sliver that department up moving down to her down to the back line and bringing Bradley back in the game also resting Matt for one quarter all these moves paid off and even though the players put up a tremendous performance to fight back like they did We've got to give a lot of praise to Kevin Sheedy. He knows a lot about football playing in four grand finals himself and, of course, in uh, three winning.